Good morning, everybody. It is summer time, day 39. Feeling fine. That's not true. I'm pretty worn out. Um, I am near the small township of Carteret. C A R T E R E T. This is the Carteret Speedway racetrack. I don't know what kind of racing they do there. I mean, cars, but I don't know if it's dirt or what's behind those fences. They got a bar and grill and a game room. Here's a big ass bonfire that that guy just lit. <clears throat> Stayed at a day's end last night. That's two nights of motels in a row. One of the more frustrating things for a hiker in these times of COVID is when you go to a motel and that free breakfast in the morning just is not on point anymore. But there's a lot of grab and go. So for this area where I'm not sending myself food and stuff, that's nice to be able to fill up your bag with a bunch of muffins and stuff for the day. But I'm gonna go through a couple more little townships here on my way to the Croatan National Forest. Um, today was another huge day in my planning. <clears throat> Planned it to be like 43 mile day or something like that. To make it to the Dogwood Shelter, which is uh, one of only four shelters, camping, hiking shelters on the entire trail. Three of them are in the Croatan National Forest. One of them is up, I think, Mount Collins Shelter uh, up on the Appalachian Trail in the very first few miles of the, the hike going eastbound. So um, I really wanted to be able to use one of these three wild shelters I missed from um, my AT and IAT days hiking in Canada and the Appalachian Trail. Uh, a lot of people don't like shelters. I dig them. Because in 2012, when I got to these shelters, I wanted to use them. I had never slept in a shelter before, I don't think, as a newbie through hiker. And the mosquitoes were just too bad to do it. So uh, this time around, specifically in my mind, when packing my mosquito net, I was like, I can use this in those shelters. So I really would like to sleep in one of the shelters, um, but 43 miles in this heat on these roads, I mean, distance-wise it's doable, but it's probably not health-wise wise. So, I uh, may opt for another town night. There's a little motel up here. It's getting close to Memorial Day weekend, though, so who knows if there's vacancies, who knows how much it is. The one last night was 90 bucks uh, plus tax, so the rates are jumping all over the place, and I'm trying to, like, keep my budget in check here, but uh, it's an option. Might post up there, and I think that would still be like a 38 mile or a 30 something mile day. But if I do that, then I'll probably rock out the Croatan in a way that might not leave me a night in the shelter. Well, hey, here's a tiny white pony. Good morning. You sure are sweet. So uh, I'm just going to see how I feel when I get to the little town before heading in the woods. And um, I think I've got a short day of like 16 coming up here in a little while too, according to my plan. So I can make up a little miles there and still try to finish on the first. So that's what I'm contemplating today. That and friendly horses. Most horses can't be bothered when I yell at them. Well, some are nice and come over. Okay, toodaloo. Ooh, nice. Straight shot, not too rough of gravel, wall of trees on either side, yachts please.
A little bit like a little three foot corn snake right here. Pretty guy. So I stopped in Havelock uh, back there to eat at Smithfield Barbecue real quick. Uh, and then it kind of started drizzling right when I came in the uh, restaurant and then the sky opened up big storm third day of rain on the whole trail and uh, lasted a couple hours and I waited most of it out between eating at the restaurant and going to Dollar General for a resupply and uh, I had enough daylight left and after the rain finally stopped it was so cool out here and feeling good that I decided to push on and not do a motel night so going to be entering um, the Croatan National Forest, I believe, up here, and sleep in one of the shelters tonight. Woo! Oh, man. I'm just using my umbrella to ward off these horse flies or pond flies or whatever they are. It's just been relentless for the last, God, three days. Whew. Just waving my umbrella around like a madman. I'm sure all the people on the roadwalks thought it was insane. Whew. So I'm in the Croatan forest now. On the, uh, I'm not even gonna try to attempt to uh, say the name of the trail. Starts with an N, and you can tell I'm kind of getting wet in here because the trees are just covered in leftover rain. I'm pretty much drenched just from running into trees. Got about a mile to go to Dogwood Shelter, so we're just gonna beat the dark. It's probably 8:15 p.m. right now, and I am as wet as if I had just walked, hiked in the rain with no poncho on because. There's so much rain water being held in the leaves of all these plants. And this is actually not too hairy on this side of the uh, highway I just passed, but a little bit a minute ago, a little two mile connector down to the parking area was hairy. A little overgrown in spots. I mean, you could see the trail, but definitely having to part the plants as you walk through. So I had the umbrella out in front of me for a lot of it like this. I don't know if you can see, but it's just dripping. <laughs> so saturated and waterlogged. I did a good job, but I'm still pretty much just head to toes on the front of me soaking wet. And uh, I can feel water coming off my backpack too. So um, I'm sure everything inside is dry, but everything in the back pocket is probably soaked too, so yeah, not pleasant when you do a pretty good job of preparing for and uh, avoiding the rain when you can, and then you get slapped with this passive rainwater. Stay <sighs> lovey though, right guys? <laughs> 